Well, I'm going to tie up a pretty simple fly, and it's, uh, it's one of the oldest flies. It's called a pheasant tail and partridge. It's just a brown fly, pretty simple. So I tie them in different ways, and I'll start out with just tying them as a um, ordinary soft hackle wet fly. So I just wrap some thread around the shank of the hook, stop at the back. I do a little half hitch and lock it off. Then I take uh, some fine copper wire. Tie in the copper wire, I hitch it off again. I like to do a bunch of half hitches to lock everything up. You take these pheasant tail barbels. This is a size 10 fly. Depending on the size of the fly, a real small fly, I might take only three of these barbels. With this, I take five or six. And you make the tail. For, so the, and I move the thread forward. There you have the tail. And uh, then you take your barbels and you turn them around the hook the shank. There's your body. You take your uh, copper wire and counterwind it. The copper wire does two things. It adds, it looks like segmentation on the body, but more than anything else, it adds strength to the pheasant tail barbels. That's why you want to counterwind it. So the last two things is to put on the hackle and the thorax. And I use partridge for the hackle. This is a partridge neck. And so when you get a neck, you want to shoot an older bird. And also the feathers on the older birds shot in December are a little bit stiffer. And they make a better hackle. So the main thing is to try to find the, the right size hackle for the hook. I try to get the hackles so that they bend back to about towards the end of the hook almost. So I peel back all this fluff and then I take them and move them forward like that. And you put the hackle on the hook with the bend down, okay? With the, in other words, the inner part of the hackle is facing up. Hackle pliers on, and then wrap leave some room for the eye. Once I generally wrap twice, two wraps. That's about it. Pull everything forward and I tie, start on the head. I half hitch that off. Then I tie the thorax last. And the reason I tie the thorax last, you can do it either way actually, but I usually tie the thorax last. And I use this uh, 
Hare's eye stub peacock, which is Hare's ear dyed kind of a peacock color with this glitter in it. And the reason I use this is that when this gets wet, the thorax looks like an air bubble. And you know when these when these mayfly swim to the surface, uh, they have they have little air bubbles underneath their shuck, and as they as they swim towards the surface, the air bubble gets larger and larger, till they get up near the surface, and then the thing it blows the shell off. And so it's a, I think it's a very visible part of an emerger, and I think the trout key key in on that, and so I put a little wax on. And I move the thread back behind the hackle. Don't don't clump the the dubbing very thick. Keep it pretty. It's better to do a whole bunch of of turns with it rather than just a few th turns of real stiff stuff. And then I, I grab the hackles and pull them all forward. Get them out of the way. Now, what I've done is I've pushed the hackles forward. And uh, the reason I put the thorax last is I want the hackles to be butt, butted against that thorax so that when you're giving a little twitch to the fly, the hackle is doing this and not just laying against the hook. That's really really important and that's what gives it action the really good action to the fly so then I bring the thread back to the head again and I tie off my head So a very simple fly, but unbelievably effective. 